and welcome back everyone. Joining us this morning, we have Marie Peasley from the Xterra Triathlon. Marie, thank you so much for coming in Thanks and joining us me. today. This is a first time event. Now we've it done is. triathlons here in the UP before. We have. But this is a first time event. So how did the whole idea come about to become one of the Xterra ones? Well, you know, we there's a group of us in town that have always thought Tourist Park would be a really great place to do an off-road triathlon mm -hmm. once the basin was filled back up. So we, we got together. Uh, late last year and said, well, how could we do this right? And we knew that if we got under the Xterra umbrella right away, mm -hmm. we would have the resources we needed. We would have the national uh, marketing and advertising that we needed as well. And they kind of have a set format to follow. Okay. So when you when you get that in place, it, it becomes actually quite easy. That's right. Now you said off-road. Now I know yes. like, we were. I, I was just saying, you know, I know the Ironman was coming up this weekend right. down in Madison. How is it different from an Ironman type of thing, other than size and things like that? Um, well, there's you use a mountain bike and it's a trail run. Oh, so okay. um, there's there's two distances as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the long distance, the epic distance we're calling it, <laughs> is a mile swim, a 30 mile mountain bike, and a 10 mile trail run. And then we have a shorter distance we're calling a sport more for the recreational mm -hmm. athlete. That's 250 yard swim, a 10 mile mountain bike, and a 5K trail run. Whew, I'm tired just thinking about it. Now, you said, though, the response has been just incredible. We're really, really happy. You know, we, we didn't know what we started, you know, when we started planning all this last year. And registrations as of this morning, I just looked, are almost to 200. Wow. Yes. If people want to, though, can they still get in? They can still get in. Uh, okay. Registration, it will be online until, I think, noon today. Mm -hmm. And then we will be doing registration and packet pickup from 4 to 8 o'clock, 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock tonight at Tourist Park. Okay. Um, so they can come down and register right there. We mm -hmm. are not doing day of registration, though. So okay. if you want to register, you got to be at Tourist Park from 4 to 8 tonight to do that. Uh -huh. Now, are there places you, that you could use volunteers yet? You know, we could always use more volunteers. You know, with these things, you, you don't realize the amount of volunteers that you actually need to pull mm -hmm. something like this off. So, yeah, we're still interested in volunteers. We are providing t-shirts and food for all of our volunteers as well. So um, they can find us on Facebook at Xterra Marquette or um, go to our website, xterramarquette.com, and contact us through there if, if you're interested in volunteering. Wonderful. Well, thank you for bringing this whole new event to the Upper Peninsula, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Motors in the area, just be on the lookout in that area of the Tourist Park region, yes. and just be ready uh, if you're doing some travels this weekend. Marie, thank you so much for Thanks letting for us having know me. more about the Xterra. Sure. And uh, like we said, a very busy weekend. We're going to join Ashley Kirkland down in Escanaba for another big weekend event next.